Any deer hunter worth his or her salt will tell you it's easier to harvest a nice buck during the rut. But what exactly is the rut? Why do bucks suddenly lose nearly all of their fear of humans? Well, it's because their focus is on something else. A rut is the time of year that uh, the, the bucks mate with the does uh, to spread on the genetics for the next year. That's right. They're looking for a mate, and they're willing to go to almost any lengths to find one. The male deer begin to show physical characteristics brought on by the rut. Their necks swell, and they produce a musky scent to attract a doe. And this courtship behavior can put them in harm's way. They'll be chasing a doe, um, chase her out of cover. All of a sudden, he's out of cover. People can s see him. Um, and then, of course, sometimes you can get pretty close because they're not paying attention. The rut takes place in November every year in North Dakota. There are several factors that trigger when it occurs. As those daylight hours shrink, then there's going to be cold weather that's going to help speed it up a little bit. Um, of course, when the, when the does come into, into heat, essentially, is what it's all about. As Casey mentioned, the temperature can move the peak of the rut a little. If it's a little colder, it'll start a little sooner. If it's warmer, like, like we're having this year, it'll push it off a little bit um, later. And it's no coincidence that the rut generally coincides with the deer season. We have in North Dakota set our season, a rifle season, to coincide with the rut for the most part. Besides being oblivious to their surroundings during the rut period, deer also walk stiff-legged with their necks extended and their head elevated, sometimes with their lips curled, to pick up pheromones of a doe in estrus. This is Tom Jensen, Outdoors.